Hi, I'm Nick Klein with Hostel Hair. This is Taylor. Howdy. And we're going to be going over how to assemble this here cage. Alright, so when you're looking to buy some cages, there's a lot of things you need to consider. First and foremost is what you're going to be doing with the cage. Now, if you have some New Zealand whites that are, you know, about a 10 to, or excuse me, an 8 to 10 pound rabbit, you're going to want a cage that's at least 2 foot by 3 foot. The minimum is 15 inches tall, which is what we have here today. Some people like a cage that's 18 to 24 inches tall, but uh, quite honestly, that's kind of like building a house for a human that's 16 feet tall instead of 8 foot tall. There's a lot of excess room there. If you're going to use the cage for breeding, you need to know that a Kindle is going to live in it. So you don't want big, wide, inch by 2 inch holes. You want these nice, small, uh, inch by half inch holes that the babies can't fall out of. Uh, the whole cage is built out of baby saver wire, uh, mostly because the ones that just have the two inches of baby saver along the bottom aren't as effective, in my opinion. If you uh, if you're in a rural area or even in a, in the city, and there are rodents present, such as roof rats or any sort of rat whatsoever, they are omnivorous and they will smell the babies in the cage and want to get in. So you need to have uh, small enough holes so that the rats can't get in and steal the babies. In downtown Tempe, uh, I have a friend there that couldn't figure out why his does stopped breeding. Hmm. And they didn't stop breeding. Their nests were just being robbed by freaking rats. Really? It was the grossest thing ever. So I go into his rabbitry and I could immediately smell that there was something dead. And I'm looking around at the ground and in his cages and everything was clean, everything looked good. Uh, he was using some inch by ha inch by uh, two inch hole cages, and I'm looking around. And finally, I, I look up in the rafters and I see it. All these little corpses, like little baby skeletons of rabbits. It was disgusting, and and I'm like, uh, you see that up there? And he's like, oh, what is that? I was like, that's where your babies are ending up. And it, he almost threw up. It was nasty. I mean, there's hundreds of them. So he had, he had 12 breeding female rabbits and couldn't figure out why none of them would keep the babies. And they were trying, but they were being robbed. Mm -hmm. So uh, whole cage, baby saver. Uh, also, you want to keep the comfort of the rabbit in mind. And by that, I mean what the floor material is made out of. My cages are 14 gauge floors. So that means that they're nice, uh, about 20% wider than 16 gauge. The half inch side is up, so there's more surface area for the rabbit to step on. And that's going to be up to you, because these come not assembled. They are partially assembled, but uh, you'll have to clip the floor in yourself. And with the cages come these J-clips. The J-clips go into the special J-clip plier, like so. and they go around two pieces of the cage and crimp together, leaving you this nice little cylinder. And that allows it to still rotate. Now you'll notice that on the cages that you get from Hostel Hair, hog ring pliers were used for the assembly of the ceiling and the walls. The reason for that is I use a pneumatic system because I'm lazy. So, when you get your cage, you just unpack it, like so. And it's gonna look a little bit wonky, but holds up pretty well. So when assembling the cage, you wanna start in the uppermost corner to get it started correctly. Now, this is a J clip. So the bottom of the J is going to scoop up both of your wires. Like so. There's more than enough J clips to do a single cage in one of these bags. Um, rule of thumb, I go down about four inches between the clips. Just hook them together like so. Seems like a slow process, but once you get the hang of it, you can really speed through a set of cages. The first cage that I ever built took me an hour and a half to cut all the wire by hand and 
put the put together the the panels by hand, the J clip pliers. Then I went out and spent about 15 grand on a setup. All my tools, all of my pneumatics and my electric tools and stuff. And I can build a cage now in about three minutes. That wasn't always the case. So with that, I've been able to increase productivity. And by increase productivity, I mean give me more time for sitting on my couch playing video games. So when you're putting, a cage, putting together a cage like this, do you want to start with the sides first and then go to the bottom, or what's the process here? Yes, I would work on the sides first, um, just get them together so it stands on its own, and then when we get to the bottom, we're going to flip it over and just kind of use it as, it'll, it will support it better if we build this part first. Makes a lot of sense. Now, the wire that I use, unfortunately, and all wire that I've ever bought, varies slightly. So you can have up to uh, 3 8 play in the, uh, you measure it out 36 inches on the dot, but when you cut, you have to cut next to one of the cross pieces of metal. If you don't, you just get all these jagged pieces out. So sometimes you can't get 36 on the dot, you have to go 36 and a half to the next, um, to the next piece. You get a little bit of a space, but fortunately, the way these things construct, it's very forgiving of those little um, discrepancies. Discrepancies. This is why I brought Taylor along. He's he's the wordsmith. I went to college. Your mom goes to college. All right. Again, we're starting in the upper corner, so get it going. And just work your way down from there. Enter super fast mode. My dexterity seems to have taken a hit. It's that old age. Yeah, I'm getting older. I'd like to say wiser, but I still do stupid stuff. Like when we test this thing, we're gonna go ahead and put a live rocket inside it. That'll be see if it can hold it. You never know. Some of these bucks get a little squirrely. So like I said earlier, this is the same process for every corner? Yes. You can have it upright like this, or um, upside down like this, or upright, doesn't really matter. Whatever you prefer. You'll develop your own habits in assembling. All right, there we go. One more over in that corner that I missed. Listen, not everybody's perfect. I come close, but. It is looking good. Not bad, not bad. All right, this part is crucial. You want to make sure. You want to make sure that you have the half inch side facing into the cage. Why is that? It increases the surface area for the rabbit's feet. Oh, um, I see. So you sit down on it. Um, instead of being an inch apart, they're half an inch apart, you're doubling the support so that the wires don't dig into the rabbit's feet. Make sure that the half inch side is facing into the cage. This isn't as big a deal for the outside walls. Um, because the, you're saying that the rabbits aren't walking on the walls? Some of them do try, but no, they don't. Spider hair? Spider hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And so I'm going about every three inches or so, four inches, putting on the J clips around the bottom. And if you're here local in Arizona, you don't have to do this. I will bring it to you assembled. 30 miles free of charge delivery. You pay me per mile after that, though. Coming up on the home stretch here. Now, I include a lot of extra J clips in case you are going at half the speed of sound and need to uh, drop a few on the ground and don't want to stop to pick them up. But also, if you start closing it down and you see that only one of the wires is going to get hooked, quit. 
and start over with another J clip because it will screw you up and you won't be able to wrap around in that spot. And voila. And you notice that I've still got like almost double what I needed. And that's okay, I do that for you. You can try and build another cage if you want to. But we're just gonna visual inspect it. It's like pretty good. Now there's a couple of things you can do with this uh, cage system. You can hang it in your barn or you can build a rack and put pans underneath of it. Um, I actually like to rack them up uh, three high and uh, it takes up a lot less space and as you can see you know we're at 15 inches here uh, full-size New Zealand white or Palomino or American blue is going to be very happy in here. Uh, there's room for a nest box and you know uh, put a feeder on one side and anything you need to keep your rabbit happy. So thanks for joining me.